Hello everybody, what is up? Good morning, my name is Gabrielle Moses and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm in Bali right now. It has been such an amazing time so far. So it's like my post birthday celebration type of thing, I guess you'd say, because I couldn't go on a trip during my birthday. So this is like a month later belated birthday type of thing. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm sorry there's construction going on right next door. I know it's a little bit loud. It's only like 8 a.m. right now in Bali. But I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a house tour. But before that gets started, guys, be sure to hit that like button down below. Give it a thumbs up and just comment your favorite emoji. It's because it helps the algorithm and trust me, we need all the help we can get. But yes, I cannot believe that I'm in freaking Bali right now. Like, what? Like, excuse moi. Um, wait till you see how sketchy though the outside of this place is because we we're all like, um, we don't think you're bringing, like, to the Uber driver, we don't think you're bringing us to, like, the right place. We went down, like, a dark alley at, like, 7 p.m. It gets dark here at 6.30 p.m. Um, there's also mosquitoes everywhere. I have mosquito bites everywhere. I'm gonna go buy some bug spray, I think, pretty soon. But yeah, we thought we were going to the wrong place and we thought we were kind of getting kidnapped last night. But, you know, we weren't. We were just going here. Our Airbnb is just a little bit hidden. But I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a house tour. But before that, you guys, look at what I was surprised with last night for my little birthday celebration. Let's play the clips right now. So we had dinner prepared for us too. Oh, got it. Birthday. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Oh. It says my name on it. Oh yeah, isn't that cool? That's cute. Yeah, so that's my little birthday surprise that I had. But now we're gonna do a house tour that you guys all have been wanting. This is the first house I'm seeing in another town like later on, and I guess I'll do like a second house tour for that one because that one's like literally insane. Like crazy, crazy. Wait till you see it. This one is amazing as well, but the second one is like start house tour so first i'm going to show you the really sketchy road we had to drive down which there's tons of construction which we knew there was a little bit going into this place because it was like a really heavily discounted rate so we're like oh whatever construction it's really not that big of a deal i can't hear it in the bedroom you can obviously hear it right now because i'm right next to the front door and that's right next to the construction but look at this alley we had to go down okay i'm not going to show you guys but look it's it looks literally like that there's construction out the front door there's also like four guys standing there. So I was like, I'm not gonna go fully outside. I'm alone right now. But as soon as you walk into the front door, just right here, this is what you see. My birthday balloons left over. There's like a wall, I guess, between the next villa, but they got some plants. I don't really understand the purpose of that. Maybe light. Um, this is the living room. Oh, see, look at all my birthday decorations. We have a TV. This is a giant Bluetooth speaker, which is really nice. Some of the stuff fell down. We have like a full little bar area. They like pre stocked everything for us, which was really cool. The refrigerator, the freezer is massive. We have like a convection oven type of thing. And this is actually the kitchen right here, which we didn't need a huge kitchen because let's be honest, we're not gonna be cooking. We had chefs last night, which was so cool. We won't be cooking, so we don't really care about the kitchen. But yeah, you pull this back. Let me show you, 0.5, pull that back. And it's like hidden, which is kind of cool, which this is perfect for like a vacay home. Cause like who be cooking like that? I don't know. Okay, so that's there. This is like a storage room. Okay, the door locks are like very confusing here. That's a storage room with like the electricity box. Right here, it's just like a little half bath. Hello? See, and then that overlooks like the whole living room. And then, I'm sure you guys outside cause the outside's super cutie. Like I'm still in shock that I'm here in Bali. I've never been to like any Asian country before, this far away from home. This has been the coolest thing ever. The flight here was amazing. It was, so the first flight was 13 and a half hours, but it we took off at 12.50 a.m. So it was really, really late at night. I drank like two Trulies and went straight to sleep and slept 10 hours, so not bad of a flight at all and then we had a four hour layover in taiwan which was kind of annoying because we landed at like 6 a.m and then we had our layover till 10 a.m wasn't that big of a deal though we just went to the lounge and ate some food woke up kind of then we had a second flight from taiwan here to bali which that was five and a half hours which last minute we actually got to upgrade our flights for like 500 dollars per person we had a lay flat bed for like the five and a half six hour flight that we had 10 out of 10 oh my god that was the nicest thing after having such a long flight in like a normal city up seat. I was like, oh my gosh, this is nice. So then I slept like three hours of that flight too. So I came here well rested. I wasn't tired last night. I think we stayed out till a little after midnight. Like we went out to some bars and stuff. And guys, I've been terrified of Bali Belly to the point where I, I've been annoying the crap out of Chase. He's like, stop bringing up Bali Belly. I'm like, I'm terrified. I brought like 
liquid IV packs. I brought anti-diarrhea medicine. I brought like all these medicines here just in case someone gets it. Cause I'm like, if I'm prepared, no one will get it. If I'm not prepared, someone's gonna get it. And like, even with the chefs last night, they poured water for us and I didn't see them pour it. So I didn't know if it was like bottled or tap. So like I checked with that, we went out and I even got no ice in my water. They had salad for us at dinner and I did not eat that to be honest. Cause I'm literally terrified. I don't want to be spending my dream vacation in a bed going to the bathroom every five seconds. But anyways, I'm talking about something completely different. Let me show you the rest of the house because it's so cute. So this is one giant door, massive door, and it all opens up. Everyone's also asleep right now. I'll show you guys where the bedrooms are. Obviously not gonna go inside. Okay, so we open this like so. Ooh, we This is AC, so we have to make sure to keep that closed. Look at how cutie. This little pool is we have a pool area there's like five of these villas right next to each other all the bedrooms are right here there's four different bedrooms one of them i think is actually empty i don't know if anyone's in that but this one is my room we have a little of this and look at there's a rooftop over here i'll show you guys that in a second so let me show you upstairs real quick and then i will show you like my bedroom because it's so pretty cutie. so up we go stairs of death because look at how you guys can't tell like how steep this is but it is very steep okay guys so this is the top of the villa you can see like all the stuff down there still decorated a bunch there's like a little eating area it's adorable and we're going back down the stairs of death and to the bedroom more balloons everywhere um, but yeah, so there's other people up there, so that's why I was trying not to film because I didn't know anyone was awake. So that's that. And then the bedrooms, obviously, have my curtains are drawn because I don't want you seeing me sleeping. And you walk in here. Two more bedrooms are up there. This is another bedroom. You walk in here. And ta da! Sorry, I was asleep and I also just unpacked like all my stuff. A cute little birthday thing. Let's see, it gets really bright in here if you want it to be bright by just opening that window. Ignore the mess. Yeah, I got all my stuff unpacked. Ignore me using one hanger for like 10 shirts, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We have that. Um, it's really nice. The AC actually works really well, which that was one thing that I was really, really scared of was the AC not working. Cause I've heard like really bad stories about like how electricity goes out, which last night the electricity did go out. It was only for like five minutes. So it wasn't that big of a deal or anything. It's like whatever. And it was while we were like sitting down to eat dinner, but electricity is a lot more like not hard to come by here, but it's more likely for it to like go out and there'd be like outages. But I guess since we're in a really tourist area it's not as big of an issue but the second house that we're at since it's near like all the rice fields could possibly be a little bit more of an issue um so when i tell you i okay so here's one of my portable chargers so we're at one two portable chargers three portable chargers four five six i was like i'm not messing around i'm gonna have my phone charged if anything goes wrong my phone will be charged so we are more than prepared but then out here this is really cool this is the outdoor bathroom Ta -da! You literally walk straight outside. We have like obviously a toilet, more like sink. We have a bathtub. This was filled, or I mean, it is still filled with roses and stuff, but it was really cute. They had it all ready and prepared for me when I got in. And then outdoor shower. But what's funny is over here is storage, like underneath the steps that I just showed you guys. So I'm like, this is different, but. Outdoor shower is so cutie. I'm, I've already taken a shower in it last night. But one thing that I did here too was that the water ruined your hair. So luckily I actually washed my hair the day before I got here and I'm just gonna put my hair in braids and like let it get kind of curly. Um, I just brushed it though so it's extra fluffy right now. But I'm gonna try not washing my hair too, too much. Also not putting the water on like my face face because apparently it dries your skin out. I don't know what's up with the water here. Everyone on TikTok was telling me that. So I'm just gonna believe TikTok, okay? You guys look, there's a boudet. I'm not gonna use that, that scares me. But there's one of those. But anyways guys, yes, I just wanna show you guys kind of where I'm staying so you guys like to see these types of videos, like a little house tour. I know it was really, really quick. I'm gonna be doing another house tour for the second villa that I'm staying in. I might even post an extra little travel vlog this week, so stay tuned for that. This is also not going up until I leave the villa, so don't you guys worry, I will be safe. But yeah, we're doing a bunch of fun stuff. We're gonna do zip lining. We're gonna do, I think a snorkeling thing. We're gonna do this crazy, crazy hike on the top of this island mountain, which I'm really, really excited for. We're gonna go to a few of the temples. Like we have a whole bucket list of like stuff we're gonna be doing. We're also just gonna explore and just kind of see where the vibes take us. So I'm really excited. Really don't know what my next video is gonna be. I might do like, let me know what you guys wanna see. I might do like what a hundred dollars, like US dollars will get you in Bali. Cause it goes so, so far here. Surprisingly, some stuff, not so much. Like all the decorations and the balloons and dinner last night was a ridiculous amount of US money, which I think low key 
someone may have gotten a little bit ripped off. It was like almost seven hundred dollars. I key a little bit of a rip off. But we're getting breakfast here too. I guess there's like chefs coming this morning. So if you guys don't follow me on my other social medias like Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, be sure to be following me on there because there's gonna be like quick clips of like my entire trip on there as well. Because YouTube, you know, it's more long form content. But stay tuned for all the content. Let me know what you guys do want to see next while I'm here in Bali. Maybe I'll do like tips and tricks too while you're traveling here and like how to prepare if you're ever thinking of going to Bali. It's not like the United States, I will say that. I'm very, very different. But everyone's been super nice so far and I'm excited to see where this all takes us. So stay tuned for everything and I'll see you.